Sheath your sword, Elf. I'm here to talk. Bow low. You stand before a head crowned. That of Demavend, King of Edurn, by the grace of the gods. Sovereign of the Pontar Valley, and so on. And you are? A friend to non-humans. I have an offer. Speak quickly and to the point. The Arrakis will soon return, and I'd rather know all before then. I can add several more heads to this one. Each crown. Go on. Fall deaths to start with. I barely escaped in Edom. I'll need help. Access to your hideouts and maps of your secret trails. And the support of the Scoia'tael. I want no gold and have no interest in a killer's fame. Then why do you wish them dead? It's a long story. Your beast nabbed his neck. Time to go. Do we have a deal, Elf? Flotsam should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure of the reception we'll get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's got to look after you. That time of the month. Come on already. Trouble. Your witch's ass is gonna have to get wet. Jump! Your witch's ass is. Any news from your secret informer? The port's blocked. Some merchants have been held up for months. What about roads through the forest? Your vet rules the forest. Where are we? In the forest? Very funny. But who does it belong to? Yorveth, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Demavend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that? Hear that? I smell an elf.
That's... Vernon Roach. Special Forces Commander for the last four years. Servant of the Temerian King. Responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills. Hunter of elves. Murderer of women and children. Twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Yorveth, a regular son of a whore. I've long awaited our meeting. Laid plans, set traps. And now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One dwan less. Since when did the Scoia'tael hire professional killers to do their dirty work? The dwan even. You've fallen low. A hired killer, true. But in all certainty he is no dwan. Don't make a big deal of the race thing. Yet race is the very reason we fight. We have pointed ears, yours are rounded. We are few yet long-lived. Your kind multiplies like vermin, though thankfully expires quickly. Humans and elves alike, trying to prove one shape is better than the other. Four hundred years of killing over the mold of the Oracle. The Kingslayer's among you. We've come for him. Then our interests collide. The Kingslayer is under my protection, and I'll not hand over a guest. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. Nilfgaard plowed you once. Now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the Square Tal again. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs? Enough of this, Hess! Stanley! What? That ought to discourage them. Triss, are you alright? Lovely. You should have charmed the archers. They're coming. Geralt, the spell's still working. Stay close. What? What's happening? Triss is spent, so no more butterflies. Let's get the fuck out of here. Back to the boat? There's even more of them that way. We must find our way toward Flotsam. Get your hands off my ass. Who did you think it was? I'm not a sack of flour or one of your commandos. I'm a woman. I noticed. At least I'll die holding a lovely ass. Come on, let's go. Are you all right? Yes, fine. Sons of bitches. What's happening? All I see are your boots. Where the hell is that trading post? I'm starting to think we'll make it. Wait. The barrier's waiting. Triss! Be quick! Give me a bit more magic. Just a little. Geralt, kill them now! Squirrel salad sacking! Alarm! Squirrels! There's a mind among them! Ready yourselves! You know each other? Rather well. But he has amnesia. 
I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, Elf. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. Too many spells at once. You can die from that. See that? Yeah. The Kingslayer and Yorvith. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. Emirvar Emrys, spice merchant. A trader? In spices. Uh-huh. I'm the woman. My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. Take care now. Spice merchant. Not likely. Did you say that? Squirrels are our very wolves. Yorveth led them. I saw him with my own eyes. Who are these blokes? They're the ones the elves were chasing. Assault in broad daylight. What about Laredo? Where's the Commandant when we need him? Quiet woman! Shut it yourself! Guzzling ale and lollygagging, that's all Laredo's good at. Hey, it's a Witcher! They always bring trouble. We've all heard what the Witcher did in Bazima. Hey. Why'd Blood you, flows why'd your wherever hair go the white? Witcher goes. Zoltan. Dandelion. My former. Just great. What's the plan? We improvise. No killing. We'll take care of this, Triss. Geralt! Geralt! Over here! Help! Step back, white one. What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is collusion with a sky or two. Dandelion and Elven spy? The bard's hanging for debauchery. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! Are you serious? Listen here, people. Is profligacy now a punishable offense in the free kingdom of Tamaria? Or are we in Nilfgaard? A piss off, freak! Or you'll have me to deal with. Think of the common folk, you're spoiling their fun. Well, freak he may be, but he speaks true. Debauchery is one of my favorite pastimes, but I don't want a noose placed around my neck for pursuing it. The soldier boys paid us a visit or two, though we didn't have much fun. Away with you, Margo! Go back to your brothel! Time to go? Fine. But hear this, people. He sure liked to parade about. But his willy wouldn't come to attention. Ha! Stop the execution. Shut your trap. The thing is to hang, and he will hang. This is a decent town. Whores and witches notwithstanding. Watch your words, guardsman. I don't know witches, but Margot's a decent woman. Shut it, all of you! Or I'll not vouch for what I'll do. Thinks he's tough, showing off his balls. Don't fret, people. I've seen the rot on them. <laughs> I'm warning you for the last time, Margo! You wouldn't hit a lady. You're no lady! Careful, Witcher! Assaulted an officer! Look here, out! Assaulted an officer! <laughs> you freak! <laughs> what the scrub with the others? They're <laughs> <Nailing> anyway! <laughs> 
Come on, no. No. Got room for one more deviant. Oh. Leave the Witcher be! Careful, Witcher! What the hell is going on here? I said, what the arse fuck is going on? Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. <laughs> Out of my sight, Clover. A few plowing bandits and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm, hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? You have no right to hang them. Interesting. Because I'm the law in Flotsam. I take issue with that. Vernon Roach, officer of the King. Well, well. Blue Stripes. The non-human hunters. Precisely. Anyone suspected of collaborating with the Scoia'tael falls under my jurisdiction. And Dandelion? What's he accused of? He burned down a watchtower. What's your jurisdiction say to that? I thought so. Is that true? It might have looked that way, but I swear it wasn't my fault. I'd rather give you a thief. Nags. I'm joking. I hate thieves. We can put on another show, bloody and serious this time, mind you, or we can come to an understanding. Meaning? Give me a minute, Witcher. Listen here. You may have heard rumours of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalette Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoia'tael had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders. Prepare to fight. And ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Now disperse. Go to your homes. What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being. But they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. They were really going to hang us. I, I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we all. We all you will get out. Thank you. Time to hit the tavern. Come on, Dandelion, you need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery beneath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. Greetings. <laughs> Damn, that was close. Innkeep! Vodka! Triss Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be alright. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. 
That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbleton, Count Merivelle, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Where were the mages? Hi. Where were the grey eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. Neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Lambs, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds significant stake. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest's killer lay in wait in the tower where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. Who did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Jorvith Skoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. Sozek's alive, and nowhere near the depths. The monster's vanished without a trace. You best take us seriously, lest you vanish without a trace. I'm tired of your whining. Get out of here. Ah, oh, as ever. It's the common folk that get ploughed. Come on, lads! What? 
I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold, sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths, right Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact, too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt, you saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Kran emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there, on the upper floor. You know the inn's also a whorehouse. Thanks for the warning. Our always said, go ask the mason to take you as his apprentice. You'll learn a trade. I've always preferred the life. Meet new people, beat some of them up. <laughs> Don't tell. Oh. Going somewhere, friend. How's it living with Roach's soldiers? Splendid. I know every ship joke that anyone's ever thought up. Plus, I've learned how to burp out the official title of the Emperor of Nilfgaard without reaching for beer. Shorty's told me about his 16 children, all named after Temerian troop divisions. And I know his nickname has nothing to do with his manhood. Nice to know that you care, though. Glad to see you in a good mood. I think I actually like them. They're good people. One of them even proposed to me. Who's the brave man? <laughs> Sorry, that's a secret. And here I thought Roach's boys had an ounce of respect for me. The massacre in Rivia, it came back to me, I remember. The angry mob murdering non-humans, the young boy with a pitchfork. Anything else? Death, or a state close to it, I'm not sure. I felt life draining out of me. Uh, I was there. I arrived a moment later. Don't worry, Triss. They're only memories. We have bigger problems to tackle now. Something tells me that in recovering my memory, I'll find out a lot about what we're dealing with now. (coughs) 
I know you. I can see you're dying to ask me. What is it? All right, Thessa. What happened to Foltest? What the king died in mysterious circumstances. The Witcher Geralt, his sword covered in blood, was discovered standing over his corpse. Did you kill him? This will stay between us, I promise. The killer escaped before I could get him. I'm being set up. So what are you gonna do? Run around swinging your sword hoping the killer walks into range? I don't have to. The killer's in the forest with the squire's out, and he knows I'm here. We'll find each other. Geralt, please don't do anything stupid. Don't stick your neck out. If Lorito finds out you were involved in Poultice's assassination, you gave Vernon a full report on Flotsam. Seen anything unusual around here? They've got some amazing women at the brothel. You should take a look. One of them. You know what I mean. A town like any other. It's got a harbor, an inn, and a stinking muddy river. That's what an ordinary man would say. But we poets also look into people's souls. And things are not good. I saw a robbery sanctioned by a law. Town watchmen laughing as they confiscated goods, all the while talking about how they'd finally bring order to the town. I saw drunken thugs beat up an elf woman while no one even flinched. I know these things happen everywhere, but here, it's not motivated by hatred or misguided attempts at meeting out justice. People are driven by cold calculation. They're always looking for opportunities to get a little richer. I need information. Anything that could help me track down the Kingslayers. I only know gossip. Things folk have been saying since Demophen's death. People are throwing out blame left and right. One day it's the Elves, another the Nilfgaardians, then it's Rivians. Let me guess. The suspects also include a Zeracanian alchemist and a group of halflings. Bold theory, that. But the mob comes up with even better ones. Know what? Frankly, the most worrying effect of these assassinations is the chaos they've unleashed in people's minds. What do you mean? I mean chaos. People don't know what to think, who's good and who's evil. And these are tough times. Who knows what's going to happen? So, Mr. Master Spy, what's new in the world of politics? Bard singing about anything interesting these days? Edern's in trouble. Henselt and his great army are nearing the Pontart and will ford it and strike any day. Well, we haven't had a war in a long time. Like all little boys, he likes to play with his soldiers. But I don't think Kedwin will have an easy time of it. Edern's borders are guarded by Saskia the Dragon Slayer. Who's she? Some mercenary? A peasant girl and self-proclaimed commander of something called the Adernian Voluntary Militia. Fighting women and bards who play politics. These are strange times. I'm having flashbacks, Dandelion. What have you remembered? My own death. I saw that with my own eyes, as I've told you many times. Yennefer gave her life to save yours. I thought you might have remembered what happened afterwards. I mean, how the devil can you be here now? I hear you, I see you, you're breathing. I mean, you're just alive. Dandelion, I've had a flashback or two. I don't know everything yet. What's going on, Geralt? We arrived in Flotsam. We saw the killer. We've pissed everyone off. What next? If the Kingslayers in Yulveth's care, we'll have to get them back. If we go out into that forest to look for elves, all we'll find is our own death. We'll visit Lorido as invited. He may be a hick heading a bunch of imbeciles, but this is his territory and he could prove useful. How can the commander of a Temerian garrison just piss all over the commander of Foltest's special forces? The Blue Stripes aren't exactly popular among common folk, in case you haven't noticed. Like anyone who does the dirty work. But Lorido's a soldier. The worst scum gets posted to dumpy border towns like this. Incompetent fools who show off their authority to a bunch of grimy peasants. A little town deep in the forest, terrorized by Scoyatel. You should be in your element, Roach. Flotsam isn't just any old town, Geralt. Temeria, Redania, Kedwin, and Edern. The largest kingdoms in the north. Know what they all have in common? The Pontar Valley. A strip of land they've been battling over for generations. Exactly. And here's Flotsam, on the border between Temeria and Edern, with Kedwin lying in wait just the other side of the marshes. At the very edge of the Pontar Valley. Stuck in the middle like a candle up the ass. The North's most important trade routes meet here. Every caravan has to come through Flotsam, and anyone who wants to place their cargo on a boat on this section of the river has to bear Lorido in mind. They say Henselt of Kedwin has gathered an army and is heading for Vergen. The Pontar Valley will be on fire soon, while we, Geralt, are sitting in Flotsam, the gateway to the valley. I'd like to believe it's pure coincidence and the killer just followed the squirrels here. Naive to say the least, Witcher. 
It's a long road. Stay away from me. Good to see you, Zoltan. What are you doing so far from home? It's a dog's life, Geralt, I'll tell you that much. You work your fingers to the bone for six years, you listen to the tirades of that old tyrant Breckenrig, you buy jewels, then she breaks off the engagement. And there I was, learning a gavotte. Fuck it. Out of sight, out of mind. Farewell to Eudora, the forge in Novigrad, and all the world's Breckenrigs. I'm a plain merchant, and I've made my peace with that. Do you know someone named Cedric? Know him? We drank each other under the table last Saturday. I barely made it home. Where do I find him? Oh, most times gazing at the forest from a tower near Lobenden. Strange about that one, but a heavyweight when it comes to drink. Thanks. Greetings. What? Smart ass, eh? <coughs> hey there, Witcher! Don't try anything stupid. Are you Geralt of Rivia, sir? Who's asking? Thank you, Master, for what you did outside Lavalet Castle. Our family would have perished if not for you. Please accept this modest gift. Thank you. May the gods protect you. Witcher Geralt, known also as the White Wolf. Am I that hard to distinguish from the locals? Taller warned me you'd be catty. Taller sent you. Indeed. I'm on business here, so he insisted I give you a message and a package. What's the message? I quote him faithfully. Listen to Roach in every plowing thing, because though he's a prick, he's also a patriot. Vultures already circle Foltest's corpse, but I'll manage. Get the sons of bitches and keep your head cool. P.S. You really fucked up at the castle. Give me the package. Take it. It's a weight off my mind, I tell you. Ah, I wouldn't make much of an agent. All that secrecy and nerves and cursing, not my style. Good luck to you. I'm off to tend to my matters. Godspeed. Give my best to Taller. Oh, I will. No offence, but uh, you're scaring my customers away. We met in Vizima, remember? I stood at the gate to the outskirts. What do you want? Heard you have a problem. Ah, if only we had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port and tolls are to rise. Can't help with the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. A sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage a loan. You can split that reward if you wish. A contract like that requires preparations. Costly preparations. You want an advance? I've but a handful of orans now, though it should buy you plenty of drink and a few hours of plowing. I was thinking of the potions we'll need. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the witcher, damn it! I've no knowledge of these things. Who could tell me more? That plowing elf, Cedric, most probably. He's supposed to know all about monsters. Where can I find him? In the village, outside the walls. Now leave me be. <laughs> People! The mutant's pursuing me! Let's go kill some monsters! Well, well. I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. 
It was a long voyage to this cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Voltest's killer, live and in person. How are you? Happy and healthy? Can't complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vasima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Listen, Jester. You're worth more to me alive, but if need be, I will take you back as a corpse. You choose. All right. Give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what... Shut up. Go ahead. Try to kill me. We've got a wanted man here. Grab him, boys. Got a wanted man. Uh, Grab him, boys. <laughs> it's true. Faltest is dead. Here comes the Witcher. Think he'll agree? No, I... I don't know. Should we just walk up and ask him like that? Take a good look at him. He'd be ideal. Ha! Greetings. A word, if you will. You see, we've created an alchemical substance and we wish to test it in Vizima, in a laboratory. Seeing as you're a witcher, we wondered if you'd be willing to test it in practice. In a year or two, given the occasion, you could visit us in Vizima. We'd examine you and reward you generously. We need to study its long-term effects. We can't say more. Are you in? Why not? Splendid! Excellent! Now, if you could also keep a journal of the experiment. Don't overdo it. Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. The merchants are paying good money for killing the beast. Coin is never the most important thing. Maybe, but it's still pretty useful. I don't trust her. She? Why not? She's a powerful sorceress. Dangerous to her foes, even more dangerous to her friends. I know you don't like her. Any specific reason? I'm just trying to warn you. Thanks. I guess I'll have to ask her. How? We're going hunting together. Right after I find Cedric. Well then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. Belk. It'll be nearly a year now. Moril would delight in a day like this, Saharan. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the long. I try. I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let other Shay poison your memory of her. 
Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. Raphael. Raphael. Are you Cedric? Who asks? Geralt of Rivia. Ah, the Witcher. And? Triss Marigold. Lovely scent, Triss. Cedric, look at me. What do you want, Geralt of Rivia? I aim to kill the Cairn. Heard you might be able to help. That depends on the sort of aid you seek. I need information. We should have killed it years ago. Now, now I don't know. The beast has become too large for the riverbed, and it has strange growths on its tentacles, extremely thick skin. Previously, it inhabited a swamp along one of the Pontar's tributaries. Completely wild terrain. Even the Scoia'tael don't venture there. You should go see the wreck of the boat it recently sank. Inspect any traces it's left. See the destruction. Where's this wreck? Venture south into the forest, then turn east toward the river. You'll find the ruins of a bridge erected long ago by the Enshe. The wreck lies at their foot. Thanks, Cedric. You'll find me by the boat wreck. Jeez, Triss. Sure you're not overusing those teleports? I wonder what's left of that wreck Cedric mentioned. If the Cairn attacked the boat, it's not likely to be much. We're looking for traces of the beast, not boats. See those footprints? Yeah. Strange place for an evening walk. Unless you're looking for adventure. My medallion. Almost brings a tear to your eye. Let's 
Let's examine the traces of the Kaelin and get out of here. The ram stuffed with sulfur and a dead cobbler. Straight out of Eastern legends. Not good enough for the Kaelin, though. Wait a minute. What are you going to do? Cast a simple diagnostic spell. It should answer a few questions. This monster's sick, Geralt. It's dying. How much time does it have left? A few years. Perhaps a decade and change. Too long. What's wrong with it? Any information could be useful. The diagnostic spell showed that some of the cells in its body have mutated. What makes you think it's dying? I mean, I'm a mutant. The mucus cells I diagnosed are very similar to cancer cells. In some ways, they're more effective than healthy cells, but they're out of control. They converge to create a red tissue. Very unpleasant. The poor thing. But you brought up an interesting point. Want to know the core difference between mutants and non-mutants? Of course I do. The changes made through alchemy and magic in your body would require thousands of years to develop on their own. This development would result from genetic errors that would cause your body to adapt, become a more efficient organism, effectively mutate, but over a very long time. When this development occurs over millennia, across multiple generations, we proudly call it natural selection, evolution. When it occurs quickly, in a single organism, or a few representatives of a species, we frown on it as mutation. And here I thought you liked me. What else? The Cairn's highly venomous. Any ideas for an antidote? Your witcher's metabolism should neutralize small doses of the toxin. But if I were you, I wouldn't rely on my mutations alone. An Ostmark potion should do the trick. I know the herb, but haven't the faintest where I might find it around here. I need to think, figure out how I want to fight the Karen. Maybe I won't need the potion. Do what you will, but don't say I didn't warn you. Sheila might be eager to get this done, but before you go see her, ask some of the locals about Osmark. You could try Cedric. Here's the formula for the potion. I need to take care of some things. Manage without me for a while? Mm -hmm. See you. Cedric, I need some Ostmark. It's a rare variety of moss, grows underground. I know it. There are some caves to the south, deep in the woods. If Ostmark grows anywhere in the area, it will be there. Granted them land on the I need to make a few orans. You wouldn't happen to have a job for a witcher, would you? There's never a shortage of work for a witcher in this forest. It's positively teeming with beasts. The elf woman you were talking about. How did she disappear? Sir Harim believes the forest took her. What do you believe? Moril simply vanished, almost a year ago now. Some say she was too beautiful, and Dwan must have harmed her. You believe that? If I have no evidence before me, I try to trust my feelings. 
and they tell me the forest did not take her. Why would you keep that from Saharan? Because it's meaningless. Perhaps she was murdered, perhaps she departed on her own, never to return. She's gone, and neither I nor Sir Harim can reverse that. Who exactly are you? One who warns humans against the dangers that lurk in the forest. Care to clarify? I am old, even for an elf. Yet the forest is older. I've lived in it for years and understand it, though it's nothing I can explain. At times, I make mistakes, and people don't come home. So you help humans? I just know if it's safe to venture beyond the gates or not. What are the Scoia'tael fighting for? Do you ask about the Old Ones, who hoped to restore our race to its previous glory? Or about the Young Ones, who fight for survival and out of suicidal revenge? Yorvith's warriors. Which mold do they fit? They believe they are still independent, and that there is but one just way to view their cause. In truth, however, they're but a shadow of the Enshe's former glory. They cling to delusions to the very moment when a sword or a noose ends their life, or until they realize the truth themselves, which is, I believe, the worst. Good luck. To fire by sending ever deadlier Can nightmares girls from its become witches the too? Came here with the that brick Laredo turned his nose up, eh? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. With these cunts, Laredo can protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorveth. He's succeeded so far, Roach. A ballista. The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Mm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add plow into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story. Don't you traipse around here. We can afford to tell it. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. Sniffing around <laughs> like <laughs> dogs in a rubbish dump. It doesn't get any better. What do you need, ugly? Ugly. Well, you ain't exactly handsome. But? I wouldn't worry. Women prefer ugly men to groomed dandies. And you're ugly something mighty. Care for a romp? Can't just now, but I'll find you later in town. What's your name? Margarita. I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? Just go with your specialty. All right, it'll be my standard rate. Draw him away from the ballista while you're at it. Slap me hard and call me stupid. Trying to put one by me? That'll cost you more. How's that? Surcharge on special requests. Those are the rules. Let me think it over. All right. I'm off to give the boy some diversion. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten hours. for a little diversion, brave one. I'm on duty. Oh, come on. Your comrades are well at it having their fun. Why should you be any worse? You're right. Haven't had this Let's good go. a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. A little elf was skipping down the path. 
Plamel, Plamel. Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. Plamel, Plamel. Oh, you arse fuck, dirty rotten scum. Plamel, Plamel. Do that again and I'll fuck you, mum. Plow them all. Hell. You've had your song. Care for some like real diversion. That's true. You know this the one. list is decommissioned. Perfect. Let's go see Lurido. Lurido's busy with that witch, Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Do we wait until the Honorable Lady is done with the Venerable Hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. An offer? Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? Might have heard something. I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. Just tell me what you want. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. Go on. Around back, there's a storage area where Lurido keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Lurido's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck! All right. I'll distract the guard. You sneak behind the house. Brilliant as ever. Plowing squirrels. I'd put him in their place. Good old talk. Prove it. Soldier, I report to me immediately. Stop ya. We're too soft on him, that's the problem. Soldiers are bored. The garrison is thinning. Ah, now you're talking. What do you want? We don't need to Shut look it, soldier. Have respect for Put your superiors or spend the rest of your life on the king's galley. You forget who you're dealing with, Commandant. You must think me an idiot. I cannot help myself. You take guardsmen off the streets to guard carpets, fabrics and spices pilfered from merchants. Do you have any grasp of the responsibility that rests with you? Don't teach an old man to piss, sorceress. I've ruled Flotsam for years. Flotsam is ruled by a fear of your veth. That fear rules even you. I've made my demands perfectly clear. Like a crying babe deprived of its rattle. In time, Commandant, they'll hang you by the neck from a roadside tree like a regular bandit. And rightly so, for you're no better. Your time will come too, sorceress. They'll pile kindling at your feet. Enough. Fear has confused you. Think over what I said and give your answer before it's too late.
Nothing better than a fireside feast. Did you? <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious. Didn't like him from the start. Laredo's storing valuable gifts from the merchants right here. He may be expecting Yorvith to attack. I overheard the Commandant talking to Sheila. I couldn't pinpoint the topic of their conversation, but it seems to me he's angling for something. We'll see what he has to say. <laughs> Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Go in. They await you. Where are we to go? I'd hardly call this a hut. You, I mean you, sir, cannot enter. We've been ordered to let in the Witcher, but no one else. Son of a bitch. Fine. He wants to play hard, we'll play hard. I don't want any trouble. I'll call for support. No need. Tell Lorito I got the message. See you, Roach. Here to see the Commandant. We have business to discuss. Good luck. He's in a foul mood. Why? We'll talk another time, and definitely elsewhere. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the Sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those Sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate. Though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here. And the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Lurido then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. The Kingslayer. That's who I want. Huge man, pretty hard to mistake. Was it him? Yeah, he killed Foltest. Now he's sneaking around these woods. In that case, we'll get him too. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. A local conflict, none of my business. You killed some elves on the riverbank outside Flotsam. We were attacked. You failed to understand. It's you who doesn't understand, Lurido. To tell you the truth, I'm not human. You an elf? A dwarf? No, talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your white hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend, cannot straddle the fence. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure, they eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. Yorveth talks about driving off the Duan. He calls the Elder Races superior. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the poorer non-humans secretly support him. Right you are. As long as Yorveth remains weak, they're afraid to join him. But what happens if he gains strength? Woe to Flotsam, I say. You're a Witcher. Your job is to protect the Simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. You detest non-humans. I detest Yorveth, the coward who hunts the innocent instead of facing soldiers. I detest that horse son who murders women and children while claiming that he fights for freedom. He's a monster, Geralt. He's the evil I protect people from. And anyone who helps a monster becomes a similar monster to my mind. Enough. I get it. I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Lurido's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves and dwarves will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. 
How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Cairn has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. That is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Cairn and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. I'm a witcher. I don't work for free. Of course you don't. Help us capture the Scoyatel commander and you'll be rewarded generously. Straight from the trading post's treasury. I'll see what I can find out. Oh, you stir up storms wherever you go. I actually believe you'll bring peace to Flotsam. Don't disappoint this town, Geralt. Farewell. Don't forget your blade. This climate Squirrel is sorcerer the fault of the slaughter. Greetings. How are you killing time in this hellhole? At present, polishing gems for Schiller de Tanzerville. Requires precision, but it's wealthy work. Jewelry? Not quite. The sorceress is building a magical contraption. Spends her days staring at it. A regular magpie eyeing a copper. But I don't think she's getting anywhere with it. Got so enraged one time she dashed a vase against the wall. Some temperament to those sorceresses, I'm telling you. I spoke to the Commandant. The future hardly looks bright for the non-humans in Flotsam. That fucker's only waiting for an excuse. One small provocation by Yorveth and he'll attack us. How do you know? Heard it by chance. Saw him walking through the port one night, talking to himself, the batty bastard. He mentioned a new order and a world for humans only. He laughed and shouted curses at the prison barge. The scum is up to something. Yorveth must sense it. He's doing everything not to provoke Lerido. But Escoyatel might have a different opinion, and less restraint. <laughs> 